ethical rule. And yes, it's ethical. They say rules. It's an ethical guideline. Yes, they're guidelines. Mm -hmm. And you know that over time, the American Psychiatric Association has amended the rule. So it's not just about diagnoses, but it's also about professional opinions. Could you be more specific to say about professional opinion in regard to what? Well, let me, it, let me read this and see if you're familiar with it. It is unethical for a psychiatrist to offer a professional opinion about an individual based on publicly available information without conducting an examination. That's the rule, right? If you're reading it directly, I will believe you. Okay. However, a diagnosis is not required for an opinion to be professional. So my question is, it's not just diagnosis that this Goldwater rule applies to, it's professional opinions. So again, I, I will reiterate that that would come down to essentially nullifying witness testimony, expert witness testimony, without a direct evaluation. And as we know, it didn't happen, but regardless of that, the whole expert witness testimony thing would be basically rendered null, bullet, null and void. The rule, in fact, contemplates that issue, doesn't it, sir? The, again, I'm just telling you the answer to the question. When you're reading me those statements, I'm telling you the response by the other side who publishes also is that if that was the case, there could be no expert witness testimony in the courtroom. Psychiatrists are ethically prohibited from evaluating individuals without, permit, without permission or other authorization such as a court order. That's the rule, right? Again, if you're reading that, then I have to believe you're not misrepresenting it. And I would come back to you again, then this whole thing on effort, we might as well get rid of all the expert witnesses we've had throughout all of time for court proceedings, because what you're saying is unless a court orders it, and that's what you just said, or the APA said, then therefore expert witnesses cannot do an evaluation based on an observation of the medical records. Insurance companies cannot do evaluations solely based on the medical records where there are doctors rendering professional opinions. So at the end of the day, you are essentially saying that unless someone has directly evaluated it, there, this whole medical system we have, this whole legal system we have, is null and void. I, I'm not saying. No, anything. yes, you are, sir. I, no, you are. Well, give me a give me a second, and I'll, okay. I'll give you more than a second. What what I'm saying and what I am reading to you is a rule by your organization that takes into account that there could be court orders that would permit the, the exact kind of evaluation that you say I'm eliminating. And I, I think we're going in circles because I think I just said that means expert witness testimony would not be allowed and the branch of forensic psychiatry would be especially hindered and we know the branch of forensic psychiatry does not prohibit that. So. I am a member of the APA. That doesn't necessarily mean every single thing they put in there, everybody has to uncategorically agree with, because clearly that's not the case. Um, let's start with the easy question then. Maybe we can- That was pretty easy, go ahead. All right, yeah. Doctor, you're gonna have to just answer the questions. Okay, okay? sorry about that. I haven't been yeah. getting into it. You, you need to just answer the questions, okay. Dr. Speaker. You are not rendering any diagnosis whatsoever of Mr. Depp today or ever? No, I probably would say to you that, certainly I would not say narcissistic personalities or I would say traits. Certainly from what I have read, intimate partner violence is not a diagnosis. So the answer is no right. for that. Uh, Narcissistic personality trace is not a diagnosis, the answer is no. But if you want to tell me that substance use disorder is a psychiatric diagnosis, the answer is yes. And I... But that wasn't an issue, was it? Whether Mr. Uh, Mr. Depp used substances? I mean, you said you've gone through the record. That, that wasn't really an issue at this trial. He said it from day one. Oh, so you're saying he's already admitted to the diagnosis? 
He's so, already admitted to the use of the substances. Oh. Well, again, there's a difference between admitting to substance use and substance use disorder. Let's go back to uh, what you just said about narcissistic personality traits. Yes. Narcissistic personality disorder is a DSM-5 diagnosis, correct? Correct. Diagnos diagnostic personality, and you haven't testified that Mr. Depp has um, narcissistic personality disorder, have you? I would certainly, if I didn't, I'm certainly thinking that, but at least I'm going to say he has traits, which are characteristics of provisional diagnosis of, it's a provisional diagnosis of probably narcissistic personality disorder, but yeah, I mean, I do believe that. Well, when you say provisional diagnosis, you know the DSM-5 requires, in order to find that diagnosis, five of the nine factors. Mm -hmm. And you haven't done that analysis. You've never made that diagnosis. You've just identified certain factors. That are criteria for the diagnosis. Right. But you need five of nine to get to the diagnosis. You've, you've already told us that you didn't make a diagnosis. You're just ide identifying traits, correct? I'm identifying traits that are consistent with the diagnosis, yes. Right. And you, you, did you testify in deposition that the existence of traits as opposed to the disorder doesn't have a correlation with IPV? Uh, I, if I said traits do not have a correlation with the, if that's what I said, and I don't remember saying that, but that wouldn't be a correct saying. Narcissism has a correlation with the diagnosis. Yes, that part's true. All right, how far are we going to back this up? Because there's a diagnosis of narcissistic personality disorder, mm -hmm. right? Yes, sir. And that one is tied, has some correlation with IPV, right? Narcissism has correlation with IPV. Again, you, sir, I'm, you're not allowed me to answer. I'm, you're splitting hairs. You're splitting hairs between the traits that are consistent with, which all I'm commenting on is behaviors and traits that are consistent with the diagnosis and Mr. Depp. Narcissism absolutely has uh, risk factors associated with IPV. Let's go back again, and, and maybe we can, we can focus on the question I ask you, and we can get an answer that's addressed to that question. Mm -hmm. Narcissistic personality disorder is a risk factor for IPV, yes or no? Yes. And you previously testified there, that there is no 